What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Um, this is Otis. I'm back with another video, and this is how to probably get our Cody working again. Every time there's an update, it it breaks something. I've been trying to figure this out for a long time to get it working. So there's not an easy wizard that's gonna set this up like before, but this is not really complicated at all. So uh, what we want to do is hit Cody. This is the 7.6 Krypton version from the, directly from the Android Play Store. You can tablet or your phone. First thing we want to do is hit the settings cog. We want to hit settings. We want to go over here to system settings. So we want to click that. And then we want to click on internet access. And we want to select on. We want to turn the proxy server feature on. I don't know if it matters or not, but that's what we're going to do. Then we want to go to our add-ons and this will be deselected unknown sources we want to turn that on click on unknown sources we want to select yes so we got add unknown, unknown sources on then next you know thing we want to do is once we go back once we're going to click on file manager so let's say if you're back here you still will just hit settings and you're going to see file manager um, from file manager we're going to add source and the source we're going to be adding today is repozip.teamzt.seedr.io and I'll leave that in the video description as well and I'll come back and do a screen record just to show you so we're going to click on none and we're going to type that URL in so http colon and then we're going to type in repo and I can't spell today repo zip dot t e a m z t dot seed r dot i o forward slash so it should look just like that. Repozip.teamzt.seedr.io and a forward slash. We're going to hit OK. Then we're going to name the source and we're just going to name it TZ. All right. I'm going to hit OK again. Then here we're going to press OK. All right. And our source has been added. All right. So now we can actually go over here to TZ and you'll see that there's a zip file in there, a program, there's a wizard, a wizard and a repository. So right from here, we can hit repository, repository ZT, <clears throat> and we can see what's in there. But to actually install this, the next step is to go back to your home screen. We're gonna go to add-ons you see that there add-ons we're going to click on add-ons and then we're going to click this little box looks like the little drop box icon but that's the browser thing to get us there we're going to click that and then we're going to install from zip file so we're going to click on install from zip file and then you should see tz that's what you named it tz we're going to click on that and then we're going to install this repository zip right and it may take a while to install depends on how fast your internet is so zero tolerance repo repository add-on installed and then we're going to go to install from repository and we're going to actually we're going to make sure we install that wizard too as well so go back to tz and we're going to install in that plugin program wizard we're going to click install on that as well so now You'll see probably nothing's happening. It's going to take a little while. And this, is, this isn't this is the fastest tablet in the world, but I'm recording this through my phone. So now we want to do install from repository. All right, we're going to see zero tolerance repository, Team ZT, right there. So we're going to click install. And I think I, I went ahead, click on it. And then we're going to do program sorry program add-ons you should see ZT the wizard and it says downloading 
So it's not actually doing anything. So what we want to do is click on it. You want to say cancel add on. Yes. All right. Now we're going to click on it again. See here. Now it's giving us the option to actually install. So we're going to hit install. And here we go. Now it's downloading. So depends on your internet connection. It should be pretty fast. Um, boom. It says ZT to wizard add on install. All right. So now we're here. You get some options for like clearing cache on startup, things like that. Uh, we're just going to hit continue. All right. And it says currently no build is select install for ZT wizard. Select build menu to install. So we're going to hit build menu. And what we're going to install is cryptics. There's a bunch of different builds here, um, but we're going to install cryptics. It was recommended um, that it was one of the uh, favorite builds to use. Um, this interface is kind of jumpy, so, you know, bear with me. It's kind of scrolling up one at a time for some reason. All right, so we've got cryptics here. It says cryptics. 2.0.4. We install on that. All right. All right. And now we're going to do a fresh install. We can see that it says fresh install. All right. And then we're going to hit continue. Okay, and it says, please wait. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video. Whatever you do, don't click away. Don't click the sides. If the screen times out, just, just let the screen time out. But don't click the sides or anywhere around it because it's going to cancel it. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll come back when this is finished. Okay, I'm back. So that took probably about 10 minutes on my Wi-Fi. Um, so here now the wizard it's installed and what we want to do is force close it all right so that's going to force close it and then also what we want to do is go ahead into our local cast app um, like before so we're going to run local cast app from the play store which is free and um, we want to go over here to our settings on a tablet, it's a little bit different. We want to click on settings, and then you'll see Cody right here in the corner. We want to click on Cody, and then we're going to write that player core factory XML. All right, so you can set it in this app to actually ask you every time if you want to shoot it to your TV or not. But we're just going to go ahead and launch Cody. <clears throat> and you should notice the Krypton build should be different now. Um, it should be different, so bear with me. Boom, here we go. So this is Cryptics, and this is, you know, Cody. So you got a Cilium. Um, so here we go. Let's go do uh, movies real quick. And um, since it doesn't show Exodus like I, like, you know, what we're accustomed to, um, cause there's so many different builds. So we're kind of walking through this together, but I want to make sure that this works for you guys. Cause it's been a long time coming and it seems like every time they update Cody, there is like a, the, the, the bills don't work properly. So, so we got skins being installed, enable, disable add-ons, enable and re repository. Please wait. So I'll, we're still going through some setup process right now. So just bear with me. And hopefully we'll have this up and running. And we'll be able to see it cast straight to my TV. So it says skin, shortcuts, writing menu, 100%. All right, so here we go. Let's go to, let's just go back real quick. You know, I just want to go back to the, the very first screen. And I'm just going to click on movies. Wait.
wait for it to load because I know there's still it's still a lot of add-ons being updated so it, it may take a little while I might just pause it again just just so that all these add-ons can be installed properly because if you start trying to do too much when it's still installing add-ons you you'll get a uh, you probably get a crash or something on your phone or tablet so let me just pause this again for a second and we'll be done back when all these add-ons are finished updating okay it looks like all the add-ons are finally finished so we're gonna click on movies and um, we got all these different options so I'm gonna click on the calendar for the year and let's see what happens if we just pull up something that came out um, in 2017 since it's almost over so I don't know if I went back or what um, movies Like I said, when you got all those add-ons going on, something's bound to crash. So let me pause it one more second, and I'm going to start it back up and get this working for you. All right. I just closed the app and, you know, swiped it off. So let's go movies. loading so it's doing something and I don't want this to turn into a 20 minute video for something that shouldn't the the steps to install were like maybe five minutes so we got an error here movies 2017 And I'm still just waiting for it to load. This is a little cheap Acer tablet. I think it was like 90, 90 some bucks or something like that. They're probably like cheaper than that now. And just waiting for it to load. So I'm going to pause again for a second. All right. That didn't take too long. So here we go. 2017 movies. Um... I'm going to go click on something that should, um, let's see, we got Wonder, Mother, you got a slew of movies that came out, some of these you find on Showbox, some of these like Thor, which is probably, or well, Star Wars is probably not in HD, but it, it's there, and so we're just going to go with, let's say, Justice League. And searching for sources, <clears throat> uh, found one in SD, one total so far, zero in 4K. And I'm not, of course, not going to play the, the movie. I'm, I'm not trying to get any copyright infringement. I have no affiliation, and this is not sponsored by Cody or anything, but for those who know what Cody can do, um, this video is for you, ladies and gentlemen. So, we have this loading up right now, so bear with me. Okay, in this particular build, we got some uploads. Some say cam, high quality, MP4, or whatever. So, um, so it says HD rip. I'm just going to long press it. And then it says play. And let's see if we can get this to cast to the TV. Um, sometimes you get this awkward message about click pair or blah, blah, blah. Um, sometimes those links don't work properly. So just hit cancel. It'll, <clears throat> it'll skip to the next link. It'll find one that'll play. So hopefully we'll find one that'll just kick in and play. All right, one of them just kicked in. It's opening up local cast. There's my Chromecast. Miracles can happen. I'm gonna click on that. All right, see the local cast app. 
Um, it says Chromecast devices not support this video, uh, whatnot. So that is an indication that it does work. Um, it's just giving me that error because um, that particular video doesn't work with the Kodak. So, I mean, let's just go back and find one that potentially works or a TV show, something that works. Um, but there you go. It does work. So we do have Cody. And, of course, you can watch this on your tablet. You, just, you don't get that local cast error message if you're watching on your tablet. See, Cody has closed, blah, blah, blah. So I was expecting some type of error because I just installed it. So let's go back into Cody real quick. And I'm just trying to find a TV show or something that's just actually going to cast straight to the TV. All right, I'm back. Um, and I went to TV shows. And I'm just going to do how I started this thing off a long time ago with uh, one of my favorite TV shows, uh, Chopped. So we're going to click on Chopped. And we're going to do Done. And let's see what happens. All right, Chopped. Got Chopped Canada, got Chopped Junior. It's gonna go to the Chopped first one here, Food Network. Get the pop up. Um, let's try to start with ooh, season 36. Wow, I've missed a lot. And let's go for Better Duck next time. All right, preparing sources. We've seen this before. All right, we've got some sources pulled up. We hit play. TV's in the background. Let's see if we can get this one to actually play without getting that codex error. All right, so we're getting that codex error a lot. Um, that's just the way Cody is. Some stuff will play, some stuff won't. Um, some stuff you're just gonna have to like play right on the the tablet. So what I want to do is just to show y'all that it, it does work is I'm just going to go into um, the settings again and I'm going to uh, go to Cody and I'm going to turn off um, this. So I went ahead and deleted that. It says please exit and restart Cody because that was the issue we having with Cody before. Sometimes it would some shows and some movies would cast, um, and then some, some some wouldn't, but you still can watch it on a device. It's not going to give you that same problem. So what I want to do is just show you that it actually does work because it's not casting like Showbox would um, easily. So we're just going to go back in real quick. I'm just going to type to do movies, and I'm just go back to that Justice League movie real quick. And so just bear with me. All right. Back in movies, I'm going to go to year again. Um, I've disabled the, the local cast feature since it's, you know, it's just one of those things you have to keep trying links. And I don't want this to become a 30 minute video trying to find links. Um, whereas if you had a fire stick that had Cody on it, it's kind of kind of play because it's connected directly to your TV. So the local cast app does have those limitations when it comes to playing certain Kodaks. But, you know, by now y'all all know that. So let's just go back to uh, Justice League. Let's click on that. Right, long press it. It says prepping sources. And I'm just try to click the first link that pops up. Clicked on this I'm dark first link that popped up. It says cam, whatever, but you know, we just want to, I just want to show you that this thing actually works. All right, looks like it's streaming. Um, so this is an hour, 49 minutes. Well, 149 minutes, however you want to look at it, depends. Um, so it's here. Probably not a great, a great link, uh, but it's trying to stream, so. 
anyway, I want to show you that, that it does work. Um, this link is probably just a bad link. I mean, the movie's in show, on Showbox right now, so you can use Showbox if you really want to see it in good quality. And I'm just doing a search for, like, Chopped real quick. I totally did not mean, mean for this to be a 20-minute video. <laughs> uh, so let's Chopped. Um, actually, dang, I'm still in the movie section. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so apparently, too, if it's in red, it's not highlighted. So when you scroll, like music is highlighted now. When you scroll, TV shows is highlighted. So make make sure when you're playing around with it that when you select it, make sure you scroll over for it to be. If it's highlighted movies, that's what it's going to be on. No matter if you click on TV shows, it's going to keep going to movies. So scroll over, TV shows, then you want to tap on it. Um, and then you can do a search for whatever TV show you're looking for. So I just put chop back in again. And it actually did a good job of keeping the history, even though I've exited the app. Um, let's see. 36. Let's try this again. It's a better duck next time. All right, preparing the sources. All right, so I long press one to try to get it to play. It's doing its own little search thing until it can find uh, a link that actually works. So it cancel until it pops up a link that that'll actually populate the show. So sometimes you'll go through a few. All right, look like we found a winner. It's loading. I don't know if it's lever I got these speakers on. Here we go. All right, so it works. And then the, just the key thing is trying to get it to, to cast a local cast. Some, like I said, some links just are not gonna be very cooperative. But I'm going to link all the information you need to get this working in video description. Um, that again, that's the new Cody update, and hopefully they don't break it. So what I'm going to do is just so it, I'm not going to have any issues in the future with the Cody update. Go to the Play Store and go type in Cody. And what you want to do is click on it, and you see the Cody app. Click these three action dots, maybe kind of hard to see. Click on them three little dots and turn off auto update. All right, so that way Google Play Store is not going to automatically update this app that's going to break uh, you having access to Cody. So um, you're in business now. We're in business. Um, it has a Celium, it has a bunch of other streaming services, things that we can figure out together in the future. I didn't want to make this video too long, but. We do have working Cody again.